Yes. visit Embassy City Church. Go see Apostle Brian Meadows. The service, 
oh my gosh it's amazing it's amazing the presence of the lord they got the dancers going they have the banners they have not just banners but they have they'll use other props like oh my gosh it's just so powerful from the worship from the greetings to the worship to the word and he breaks it down like he he has demonstrations like when we went to atlanta recently we went to visit and he had like a whole group of people to help him demonstrate the word so that we can understand it that's what i like it was a good word too oh it was a real good word so if you're in atlanta go visit embassy city church I'm trying to told you so today i just washed my hair i'm going to what is that product that i didn't rub in yet i'm just going to do like plaid braids i guess maybe to like right here and then just two strand twist it the rest of the way throughout my whole head i'm gonna try to talk and do some time lapses so that it'll go fast because this is probably gonna take me a while all right so i just did the first row so you have an idea of what i'm trying to do it's braided at the root and then i just twisted it the rest of the way two strand twists Let me get at least half of my head done and then we're gonna talk. All right y'all, so I am, I guess, halfway done. I don't even know what that looks like. Hopefully it looks decent. That's decent from what I could tell. Nah, it'll work. Let me talk to y'all about not wanting to go to church. So we've been up north for a couple years now and I have looked for, I have visited churches. Look at a bump right there, no, no, no. I visited a couple churches and I have not found a church that I don't know, excites my spirit, I guess you can say. Like when we lived in Atlanta, I had a home church. And you know, they they are online. The pastor I've known since he was my youth pastor when we first moved to Georgia. And you know, we I grew I grew so much spiritually in that church. I was part of the dance ministry, I was part of the praise and worship team. The kids dance ministry was led by me and my sister. Um, and even the adult ministry, dance ministry was led by my sister and I. And you know, we was, we was involved. I was involved. Like whatever events we had, I was there. And I enjoy going to church. I have fun going to church. Like the spirit of the Lord was so strong and heavy. It was beautiful. And I just love the fact that I was growing in my spiritual walk. And and then we came to, we had to come up north. And, you know, it was difficult to find a church that I like. It still kind of is. So I haven't really been going to church, like physically. So, you know, I would still visit a church here and there. My husband will come sometimes with me. And, um, you know, it was, a good, it was a good word, but it just wouldn't excite me like my home church would or did. And so I, I, I mean, there's a church down the street from my house. I could probably, I could walk there, but it's the same thing. Like the word is good, but it doesn't really excite my spirit. So I just stuck to online service. For Embassy Church, when we went to Atlanta, like I said recently, I was so excited to go there. And then we went, and my sister and my husband loved it. And all three of us loved it. I'm like, man, this is amazing. 
The service was wonderful. The worship was great. The word was great. The dancers were, the dance ministry was killing it. Like, I think it was just the banners, like with the words, uh, healing, and it had the fiery colors and stuff. You know, like that's the kind of stuff that helped grow me. I feel like when I was a part of the dance ministry in my home church, like we had those banners and we had those props. And, and it's not just, and they're not worried about the time. Like they're not cutting the worship off and the worship is spontaneous. Like they'll start with the song that, you know, some people know, a lot of people know, but then they'll go into words from heaven. They'll receive a song from heaven and like the worship just goes crazy. That's what I like. I like that spontaneous worship. But, uh, you know, the church is here up north. I have not found something like that. So, Embassy City is going to be my online church. But if you feel like that, let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure I'm not alone. Like, you can't go to a church or stick, say going to a church where you don't feel like you're growing because what's, what's the point of going if you're not growing? You know, everybody's on a different spiritual level. So where you feel like you might not be growing, somebody else could be growing because they're on a different level than you. Some other people need more of one thing while somebody else is like, all right, yeah, I, that's great, that's wonderful. But I need more of this on over here for me. This this works better for me. I feel like this really tugs on my spirit man. It really spirit feeds my spiritual man. So that's where I'm at right now. But I do make sure that I spend time with the Lord like this morning. I did a vlog of putting yourself out there and I mentioned a verse of James 1 and 3 and it's just so crazy that it just aligned with what kind of what I with what I was talking about and I didn't it was just a random scripture that I said so I was like you know let me see what that scripture talks about and I read it I was like wow lord you got a sense of humor that is just so crazy so so crazy but I just I still pray that I will find a home church because you need that community You need that community with your fellow brothers and sisters, other people to encourage you. It don't even have to be someone that talks to you. You could just be, you could just watch them and they can encourage you. Like watch how they operate and watch how they love on the Lord and love on people. Like my, my um, pastor back in Atlanta, um, I never really talked to um, my pastor's wife, Pastor Nicole, but I didn't have to. I would just always watch her, like how she treated the Apostle, Apostle Jay, and it encouraged me. And I'm like, Lord, I pray that the same how she is and I mean I don't pray to be just like her because that means you got to take on whatever she went through and she went through a lot but just watching people can be an encouragement and can help you grow because of their spirit their the way they talk to you the way they interact with you or people the way they love on people the way they pray for people and encourage people it could be just something like that. Just by watching her, like she has, she's a woman of so much grace and elegance and she just loves on women. Like that's her ministry, she does hair. But that's just how, that's how I felt like she's always ministered to me. It was just by me watching her. And that's why they say you gotta be careful because people are watching. And she is a wonderful example. Like I was just watching her. It wasn't even intentional. Like she just grabbed my attention just by her actions. And I just always admired her as a pastor, as a wife, as a woman, 
as a businesswoman and entrepreneur, I've just always admired her. And I guess you could say I admired her from afar. I mean, it's, I've, I've had, we've had our intimate time together where me and my sister would go over to their house and like, that's just how close we were um, to the family. And you know, there was one time where it was me and my sister, one of my sisters, and my sister was in the kitchen washing the dishes because we had just finished eating dinner and um, Pastor Nicole was sitting on a chair and I was sitting at her feet and we were talking probably about relationships, about guys, because I mean, we were young, we were young adults. So I think she, I think we were talking about relationships or something like that. And then she just stops and she's like, you know what this reminds me of? Um, who was it? Martha and Mary. How Mary was in the, no, Martha was in the kitchen preparing and cooking for Jesus. And Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus, just in awe, just listening and learning. And that moment, had, when she said that, that moment has always stuck with me. And now I know that story just from that moment. Fellowship is important. Yes, it is. It definitely is. So I'm still praying to the Lord for me to find a church that excites me. That makes me want to get involved. That makes me excited to come and not just come to Sunday morning service, but to try to come during the week for any kind of nightly events and services. Yeah, finished my hair. I had to finish it off camera because time is winding down. The sun is going down. It's 2.30. I started at like 12, so two and a half hours to do my hair. So, um, what was I saying? Talking about church? Not really motivated to go to church because I haven't really found a church that I feel feeds my spirit. So, one last comment before I end this vlog. I feel like church, I've always felt like this. Finding a church is like finding your, it's like dating. You gotta visit different churches, you date different people until you find your soulmate, until you find the church that is right for you. So, I don't know, I just always felt like that. Kind of goes hand in hand in a sense, kind of, sort of. But if you understand where I'm coming from, if you feel me, if you're in the same boat, comment below, let me know that I'm not alone. <laughs> um, it's taken me a lot longer to find a physical home church in my state, but I do not let that stop me from growing, from spending time with Jesus, from reading my word, from praying, talking to him, from worshiping him even at home in silence or with music, um, or showing people love. I've, I have never and I will never let that stop me from doing all those things because he is worthy of it all. He deserves all the glory regardless of what happens. And um, he's first in everything. So if you guys feel me, if you understand where I'm coming from, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for chatting with me. Thank you for going to virtual church with me. Hopefully you enjoyed those little snippets that I shared with you. And again, if you're in Atlanta, go visit. Until the next vlog, see y'all. Bye.